Hey guys, this is an instructive video. I want to show you how to do a battery test uh, with a Pico scope. It's very easy and simple, and it's probably the easiest way you can sell a battery to a customer that doesn't understand why it needs it. Because this is it's just a hundred percent test. Okay, so let me show you show you first the connections. Uh, it's very easy. So you need um just uh, channel A connected to the battery positive and negative and then you need an amp clamp like the one I'm using right now is the PicoScope uh, clamp for 600 amps is the TA-119 connected to the negative uh, of the battery make sure you you get the right way of the jaws it has a, a arrow showing the the direction or the right direction that will be the amp clamp should be connected to channel B then you're gonna go and yes, I have PicoScope set up into my barrels. It's just the best uh, uh, scope around. So that's, that's, that's the one I like to use. So, okay, you go to Pico Diagnostics. Let me open that. Okay, that's opening now. You're going to go to Battery Test. In here, you're going to pick up, okay, well, we have a 12 volts. It's a lead acid. Uh, we need to know the temperature of the battery which i have a thermometer here <coughs> it's going to be in centigrade so or celsius sorry make sure you get that this is 18.1 so let's say 18 degrees you're going to go to the bottom you're going to click in there this is the way the battery is so i'm going to put 18 degrees i'm sorry 18 then we got to go to the cranking this is an a75 battery cold cranking amps and the unit is uh sae which is correct too that's all you really need to do the reason i didn't have the start i don't know what i pressed wrong so let me go to the uh, right temperature that's probably because i maybe erased that so it's 18 degrees maybe when i press here i erase the celsius in there so we need to go a 75 in here that's all i need to do then you're going to click on the start button here and that's going to tell you to crank this you know to start a car like to start a car <coughs> it's capturing finishing the capture and that's it so let me turn the car off So as you can see, it reads the cranking uh, voltage, the cranking amps, and it tells you if the battery is good or no. As you can see, we have you know some greens and so yellow. I have a low voltage on the crank. It uh, on the crank, you see the voltage drop was 5.5 volts, but the current uh, cranking amps 675 was kind of like still okay. It says the battery is good, but it needs charging. drop this down a little bit more you can see it <coughs> sorry the charging is a 90 percent voltage is 14.4 the ripple is 295 millivolts which is okay remember you can have up to 500 millivolts of uh, AC ripple which just will be still considered normal that's kind of like the maximum that you really want to see that's uh, I have seen less than 50 millivolts so I hope uh, you guys like the video and you can print this you can go into file and print and this is going to you know open up if it does it oh yes if you have not entered any details you like to do so now I guess yes so it will ask you <coughs> to save the customers uh, you know license plate name whatever you want to save on here and then print it over but that's that's pretty much what you got to do and like in this case the battery is good the charging system is good so all you got to tell the customers uh, we had to put the battery on to charge them a little bit more but when you have a bad battery like this car was not a starting yesterday we put a little bit of a charge and now it's cranking good but it's still low you know we haven't run it too much so we need to put a little bit more charge on here all right guys i hope you guys uh, like the video again this is the pico scope 4425 it's a four channel oscilloscope in the pico diagnostic that comes out uh, included you know it's a free software 
Have a good day.